will advance to 2-0 and have a shot at the top seed tomorrow. Again, we are being given an incredible matchup. Another, you know, simulated grand final, if you would say, right? Carmen Corp, arguably the best in the world right now, but they're going to go up against a challenge. It's the Falcons who are first on the board. It's Rawas having that one fall right in front of him, diving in seven seconds in, and we'll see how K Corp responds, having given up a very early goal. I, I have heard nothing but high praise to the name of Falcons throughout the week here in Denmark. I, I have been so excited to see this team and this matchup, but this matchup in particular, because this is probably the hardest. This is some of our grand final predictions. Yeah, certainly was my grand final prediction. I won't bother telling you who I think is going to win. I think everybody knows. This one <laughs> will be ricocheted away as Team Falcons repel another attempt from the blue wall. And Otto and Rise are not on the same page. So here goes TRK. Only Vati to beat. And Otto will just come right in from behind to scoop that ball up. Falcons not overextending at all. Not able to kind of pressure Carmine Corp. And we'll see if that continues throughout this game. TRK has one bounce away, and Rise will have it. K-Corp a little out of sorts in the early stages defensively, but again, they've also had to wait seven hours plus to play their next game. Yeah, I feel like that's something very valid to mention and that should be talked about is the amount of time that you have to wait in between your matches can affect you a lot. Whether, you know, you decide to eat or you rest or you want to take a scrim on or go play some ranked in the in-between, what you do matters. And I, I feel like it's safe to say in Carving Court, they like to keep themselves warmed up in the in-between, but that is a long amount of time headed into this. Well, and... You look at what we saw at times before this matchup, right? There were some technical issues going into this series. And of course, our great admin team working with the tech that's available, able to get this match started as quickly as possible as Calares has that stop. And Rise will just kind of camp out by the corner. Shout out to our admin team, by the way. Worth every penny and probably then some. Veteran experienced squad doing right by the players here so far today. Game number one. Although Falcons are in a lead, it's still feeling fairly close right now. Carmine Corp desperately just want to formulate some sort of a play, but a weird whiff coming out there from a town. No connection on that ball there. Instead, it's Ruas on the counter. This shot towards net, in net, and Falcons go up 2-0. Uh, this is just a beautiful piece of wizardry right on the edge of the frame. Helped a little bit. And Ruas has a pair for Team Falcons, who are bringing the fight right to k -Corp. They just look so confident coming into this matchup, which is what you need if you're going up a team like Carmine Corp, right? Everybody has them at the top of their list as far as predictions go, especially after, after the performance that we've seen throughout all three of the qualifiers. They are the team to beat. And I feel like it would make, it would put a lot of eyes on you if you're the Falcons right now, but also maybe a little bit of a target on your back if you were able to take them down. For now though, Carmen Corp want to transition immediately, race back home as the Falcons are on the counter. Two goal lead with less than two remaining. We know how quickly Carmine Corp can attack. But after nine goals from Killers in, in round one, it is Ruas who's stealing the show, looking for a hat trick with about 90 seconds left. Dumped back in again, and K Corp again pushed to their back line. And the blue wall has not found much success at all on the offensive end in Falcons territory. This one floating home and in from TRK. From all the way a second touch and a clear over rise smack on target into an open net falcons catching carmen corp off guard well this is not what many people would have expected of course we could expect that these are maybe two of the best teams in the world maybe the two best but 
to see it go 3-0, make it 4 as TRK continues to rain it down. TRK absolutely waking up in the second half of this game. I mean, he was awake before, but he just, dude wants the spotlight on him right now. Falcons 4, four goals on Carmen Corp. Nothing has been answered to, which feels almost impossible and weird to be saying right now. I feel like Carmen Corp has had such an incredible play style that has worked so well against so many teams. So Falcons have got to feel great knowing what they're doing works best against KC. And well, you just got to keep it going for the next 50 seconds. Carmine Corp, the blue wall, has met the superior siege weapon. It happens to be the combination of Rawas and TRK. Two goals apiece and a 4-0 lead in the final minute. Team Falcons making a statement in this final match of the evening, dubbed as our main event for good reason. And of course, when you get to a, a moment like this, when you're here at the major, you start to see all these international fantasy matchups. Boy, I wonder what would happen if the best team from Europe faced the best team from MENA. Well, you have it. And right now, it is decisively Team Falcons in game one, trying to add another to the pile. They'll be denied, but they'll take a 4 nothing dub into game two. Falcons look incredible. They look and you saw what Falcons just did to them. Yep, and well, I don't expect anything less. I feel like Falcons have the capability to keep this level of consistency headed into game two, but granted, that that statement is gonna be answered true or false as we head here into game number two. It's a bump play headed in for Kaleers, and Falcons go up by one. So let me get this straight. He scores nine in the opening series. <laughs> only gets a couple of assists in game one, and then eight seconds in, they've got another. Another early goal out of Team Falcons. It was Ruas in game one. It's Killers now adding his 10th goal of the day. And now K Corp looking for its first goal of the series and not getting one. Oh man, I, the fact that Killers is getting in on the action too is actually very, very massive because in game number one, he was the one feeding the assists throughout everything. So you get him on it, and all three players are going crazy. Carmine Corp, they've got a, a world of challenges headed up against them in game number two. This one's headed to the backboard. A nice little carry out into the side by Ruas here. And Falcons just looking to float this one out of their own half. A pinch, though, from Matira. Let's Carmen Corp go back. Rise wanted to take a shot of his own, but the save comes through, and so does the counter. K Corp at times maybe could be described as a sleeping giant, but it needs to wake up real soon. First minute, first six minutes of this series, dominated by Team Falcons, the kings of Mina. Looking to just continue their surge through the Swiss stage. Off to a good start here at Forbidden Temple. Opportunity in front, this time denied at point blank range by Ruas. Now Vatira will try again. Brought it down to ground, still had it stuffed back in his face. And Atover wisely grabbing that corner boost, trying to starve out Falcons. Try to create more opportunities, but the rotations are there. This is a very good defensive squad. We know, of course, all about their offense, averaging three and a half goals a game in their own region. But could they stop juggernaut teams like K Corp? Answer so far through a game and a half? Absolutely yes. This team is not even a dark horse powerhouse. They just, they low key are just on the rise as far as they are concerned here at the Copenhagen Major. And Falcons still up by one. Carmen Corp unable to answer to anything. Rye is going to take this ball away from the Falcons. Tries to get past TRK. Not quite able to do so, though. It's how trying to just keep it going, but they keep getting sent back. This one to the backboard. Ruas with enough room to let this one down. Oh. And unfortunately, this one doesn't find its way through. But again, it's a Carmen Corp save that just has to keep coming out. I mean, not a crisis when you've been as dominant as you have been, but that drop down to Killers really should have turned into a goal. Now Vatira from his own back wall. Very familiar position for K Corp collectively. Got the bump. Now Rise 
He'll run interference, and Rawas avoids him, catches the ball on the backboard, brings it out. It was a great attempt from K Corp. The idea was there. Rawas was simply better. It, it's just, it looks like they came in with a game plan and they are just executing it to perfection. It takes two players to keep this one out of your KC. Falcons, another shot denied, but my goodness, is Carmen Court probably sweating just a little bit after that. Minute 40 seconds, all three players from Carmen Corp kind of bunched together in that corner, which isn't the best sign as they start to spread out a little bit. This ball's gonna head towards that net just wide in their back corner, clear out into the mid, and here comes TRK. Infield pass, oh. no connection made on it, but not too much to stress about when you're still in the lead. Couple of near misses, and you could argue K Corp are a little bit lucky that this isn't a 3 nothing game right now. Atto. Stuck on his back wall, Vatira waiting to follow. He's got to jump into action here, and all he can do is clear it away. Rise, a little slow on the challenge. Now Killers bring it down in front across, and it's a toe who is right there. But again, listen, there hasn't been a blitz on either side as we get to the final minute. Shots are 4-2 in favor of K-Corp, but the one that matters came from Killers. What, eight seconds into this game and a one nothing lead for Falcons. Yep, it's been Falcons holding on to their extremely early game lead. But as soon as I say that, they said, no, you know what, let's extend it, make ourselves a little bit more comfortable headed into the next 37 seconds of this one, and maybe let's go claim match point. Maybe indeed. K Corp looking down the barrel of triple match point at the hands of Team Falcons. This main event has, well, <laughs> taken an awkward turn and another just like that. What, what even happened here? It was just a pinch from the ceiling and down, no connection on the attempt to make the save there. I think from Ruas, but okay, there, there's a glimmer of hope if you're Carmen Corp. You got 32 seconds, kickoff almost in your favor. If somebody can go and try and catch up to this ball, clears almost a little bit awkward. Great challenge there from Rise, but this ball goes back mid. Here comes the towel. Trying to send it forward, but Ruas has other plans. He's gonna carry this one to the backboard. Uses the flip and through, and Team Falcons re-extend the lead at 15 seconds. I think you've had enough. No? Now you've had enough. Falcons back by two. Ruas painting another brilliant picture. And K Corp left wondering what in the world is going wrong. Maybe it might be easier to answer what's going right right now. It is all Team Falcons through the first 10 minutes. And it's Falcons who have three shots to go 2-0. A bigger statement could not be in the, is the best, if not one of the best in the entire world in terms of coaching. This man has created plays to stop some of the worst situations you can be in. So I have no doubt that there's some sort of a, a, a plan of action headed into this game, number three against Team Falcons, but you've only got five minutes in regulation to fix what has happened in games one and two. Otherwise, Falcons get to solidify themselves as a complete top dog here in day number one of the Swiss. And you also have only a minute in between games. No benefit of a timeout in these best of five stages. Double from the ground. Killers is a killer. He looks so good, so confident. This ball goes from the ceiling and gets killed on the ground. It's killers, though, to finish and follow it up. And Team Falcons, we've seen this before, they take an extremely early game lead, and they know exactly what to do in terms of playing time against a team like Carmen Corp. Well, the demo with Vati involved there, and he's back into the play. What can Vati Goat come up with for K Corp? Will it have to be one of his minions helping him out? It's in the corner there. Otto coming back as well. Not over him, but Rise is there. Rise may be one of the biggest acquisitions for any team coming into this new season. The pedigree that he carries with him. There goes Fatira though. 
reuniting with his former Queso and Moist teammate. But it's not coming up all sunshine and roses here as game three looks to belong to Falcons just like the first two. And it is a complete mess defensively. That's dangerous in front. And Kate Corp escape unharmed. Ooh, and what a flick towards that net there. Finally, Carmen Corp out of their own half and attempts at an infill, but the shot goes wide. And Falcons look to transition. Atal has other plans. He wants to stay in that orange half, keep taking shots at them. Vasi, no connection made on that challenge there. And TRK gonna look to take a shot of his own. Two players to keep this one out of the net here. And three minutes left in game at number three. It starts to become a little dangerous because you might need all three of those minutes just to be able to tie things up. Again, only the one shot. Not that Falcons are lighting up the offensive end either, they've got three, but as we said in the previous game, the only ones that matter are the ones that get through. And it was an early goal yet again in the first minute. Team Falcons have scored first in that opening minute all three games, and that lead has held every single one of them. They have not trailed at any point, and this game is not, a game hasn't been tied past the first 30 seconds of any game in this series. This is dominance. This is the Falcons. This is their game, their series. However, it's not going to be that easy. Carmen Cor tied things up here. It's Batira who tried to carry this one upfield towards that net. Natal, it's just the teamwork, the sheer amount of teamwork that this team is able to place in together. And while at 2.15, we've got ourselves a tied game. Well, you can just about discount the first goal from Atal, right? Because that was kind of a fluke that found its way in. I mean, it took that long for K Corp to get a goal they can go, all right, we like that. Now they've got to answer with more. Got to keep the pressure on as Rise has that drop to the corner. And Killers is right there to sweep it away, and he can slow play this. They've given him all the time and space in the world. They didn't have to burn much boost either. So great boost management, great possession there from Falcons. They're in an unfamiliar position now, actually locked in a battle now with K Corp. Late in game three, a game that, again, Falcons could close out the blue wall here. If you, by any means, can shut out Carmen Corp to head into day two, going 2 and 0, oh, you. It, you are just number one in my books at that point. That is such an incredible power move and a power statement, but you gotta get there first. This ball headed back towards the Carmine Corp half. Here comes the towel, trying to slow things down in the mid. But as soon as his transition starts, Falcons send it back. Oh. No connection on that ball to go in, but a threat nonetheless. Well, that would have been a very loud response. And it might have been too much for K Corp to overcome, but now here they come. It's Rise looking for contact again, finding minimum. And look at all three members of K-Corp just jammed up in that corner. The spacing virtually non-existent. Atta will at least bail them out here and play for possession. Everybody can get reset. But this ball given away, and Rise had to jump in front. I mean, this is what we've seen in games past, right? Carmen Corp kind of trying to get things together a little bit, but it feels like when the nerves actually seem to hit this team, which is very rare, we see something rare. It's Carmen Corp bunched up a little bit, and they got to kind of, like you said, reset themselves. But 14 seconds left here in game number three. The potential for somebody to steal this at the last second or end it all even. Five seconds left. TRK to the backboard here. Great touch there from Atau. And a shot taken, hits the ground. We've got overtime. The invincible blue wall might have a few holes in it now, but they've survived to force OT here. And another game on top. Rise keeps the blue wall alive. The one and only, the man that has been looking for win after win in his career. He has tried to find the perfect team. If there's somebody that's going to work well with him to come back from this, it's got to be these two. Now we'll see how Team Falcons respond because the pressure starts to shift a little bit. You had him where you wanted him. You got the early goal. It did not hold up. Overtime winner out of Rise. Will he get going? Will it be another roar from the Lion? It's TRK. Waterfall down, and he scores! There you have it. They're coming out swinging. We've seen this 
so many times before Falcons just coming in with the purest level of early game aggression against KC. It works out once again. The question now is how quickly can Carmine Corp respond? And off the kickoff, this ball's going to head towards that net. Great save there from TRK. This one off the backboard out onto the other end of the field. But this time, Carmine Corp not sent back home as quickly as they have in the past. Now finally able to keep the pressure on for a little bit longer. Very cleverly set out to midfield, too, by the collective Falcons <laughs> defense. But it comes right back in, and it's Atau who ties the game. This is the Carmine Corp pressure that we've all seen throughout the qualifiers. It is just pure, non-stop pushing forward inch by inch till you are through. And that is exactly what happened there. Tied game between Casey and Falcons. Game on here at Utopia. Another closeout opportunity for the Falcons. They've been asked a lot of questions. They've answered almost all of them. But one left. How are you going to close out the previously, or so far, unbeatable Carmine Corp? Rise had that one taken away and an opportunity in front. That sent off to the side. That's how I tried to pinch that, and it just kind of adds with a sad trombone noise. And a chance now for a toe to clear it away. It looked like Falcons had something brewing there, but could not get that crucial touch. No connection made on that ball there, just seemingly allowing Rise to keep driving this ball forward. Finally, a 50 going in favor of Falcons. And here comes Ruas. Two touches, driving towards this net. Maybe the finisher from Killers, but nothing on target. Instead, it's Carmine Corp's defense turning back into that blue wall attempt to take a shot from Rise, but Falcons remain tried and true. Oh, good intercept there as we're also sent it all the way downfield. Rise bounced that right towards Killers and maybe a little fortunate that it wasn't just a few pixels closer. There's Vatira denied by Ruas. And a couple of near misses as we saw in the previous game, but nothing else breaking through one all through two minutes. A very eventful first couple of minutes. Oh, beyond eventful. I wouldn't have expected anything less from this team headed into this game number four. I mean, Again, Carmen Corp, they absolutely are favorites coming into this one. It's more about Falcons trying to take the favoritism away from them in the Swiss stage. And they are more than doing so right now. But Carmen Corp trying to level things out a little bit. Here comes a towel. Wanted to drive this one towards that net there. Rise is going to slow things down. Pops this one to the ground here. 50 goes in connection with Ruas. Into the blue half he goes, but Demo sends this ball back. But Tira towards the backboard. And maybe Carmen Corp can start to formulate some sort of an attack on the Falcons and try and take the lead, but the save comes through. Rati did get a first <laughs> steal, and it almost paid off, but the save made right at the last. Keeping the pressure on, though. They're not letting Falcons get off that easy. Rise to a toe. Why not feed the hot hand? He's got three out of the four for the blue wall so far in this series. But now Falcons back on the prowl. Can they at least get something more forward, more central towards the net? No, they can't. They have to play more defense. We've seen that throughout the series too, Herc. Their time in the offensive zone has been very short-lived. They were just being a lot more efficient with it in the previous games. Exactly. It's all about what you do with the opportunities that are given. Even if it is a short amount of time, if it is used wisely, the game can be yours. We've seen it in times past. It only takes one goal, a one goal lead to win the entire series against the squad. And well, maybe they can do it again. Demo onto Killers allows Carmine Corp to try and transition through, but a huge clear lets Falcons breathe for a little bit on defense and go for the counter. Oh, well, Vatira is looking to give that to Rise, and he got bumped out of the way. And that almost ended catastrophically for K Corp. Falcons looking to press their advantage now. TRK up to the heavens, trying to flip reset, and Vatira's there to snuff it out. Still got TRK downfield, couldn't hit the redirect. Oh, they've been so close, but close is not good enough. You've got to find a knockout blow. That's how now, given chase as Clears will have to get this away quickly. Rise up to meet him, got a piece, and back it goes. Last 30 seconds, Falcons could end it here, 
or Carmen Corp can extend in game number four. Here comes Rise, tempted to get over one, but TRK stops it dead in its tracks. This ball driving forward. And Vatira slowing things down, just pushing into the Falcon side. 10 seconds on the clock. Killers over to one, into the corner they stay. Falcons, can they take this away at the last moment or does a redirect pass over to Vatira off the backboard, double it down, it hits the ground. We've got overtime in game number four. Seen Vatira do it hundreds of times and just kind of assumed it was gonna drop, but it hits the ground and Carmine Corp force another overtime. Hatau lost that one. So now it's Killers. Nothing there. And another infield pass on the defensive end. And we've seen K-Corp utilize that. They've worked well as a team defensively, but they are susceptible to physical play. And Falcons have almost blown up a couple. Yeah, this is, this is where I expect full level 10 aggression to start coming out from Carmine Corp. But a huge clear allows Falcons to go upfield on this one. Atau's going to take this to the sky. And a challenge still in the favor of Carmine Corp. Vatira up next off the backboard. Nice read there from Ruas out into the mid. This one is going to get followed there by Rise. He leaves it for Atau, though. And a challenge from Killers is won. Lost, though, to Rise. Off to the ceiling. And Carmine Corp try to break out of their half, not once, but twice, and yet stay unsuccessful. Tense moments now as Falcons try to mount an attack, but this will fall to Vatira. He's the guy, but it's not gonna happen this time. He was going head hunting, came up empty. Was a demo on the other side, though. And nobody to follow that play up. Numbers advantage, perhaps, for the Falcons. Can Vatira get back in time? Yes, he can, as Atto buys him time. And Vatira's got this. Had to avoid a teammate. Also had killers right there in his grill. And now it's Atto with Rise waiting in support. He'll come up as well. Try to win it. No. Vatira the follow. Still dangerous for K Corp. Vati, center, and it's deflected away. And the back pass coming through over to Rise as he tries to clear this one to the back of the board. TRK over to one. This one clears out into the hands of Carmine Corp, which is what you don't want if you are the Falcons. Stuck back in their own half. Another touch here in the corner. Can they break out? Or does Carmine Corp continue to just chop away at the defense of the Falcons? Atau getting met with a challenge in the mid here. Two minutes into OT. This has felt like Carmine Corp's overtime. And Falcons struggling to break out and stay out of their own half. A uh, very short overtime in game three. Much longer this time around. Floating towards the net. And Atau keeps this series alive for K Corp. DRK can't pinch it forward. There's Vatira, decoy, and it almost fell right to a towel, but now it's Rise, bringing it across. Boy, K Corp going deep into the bag of tricks. Team Falcons undeterred so far. Vatira, more of a blunt instrument that time. Did not break through. DRK, power clear, he can follow it himself, and Rise got to have it away, and he does. That was a huge clear, allowing Falcons to be able to transition. Pass over to TRK, shot on net, denied by a Atau, and Carmine Corp lived to see another minute of OT. Why, they watch the series flash before their eyes, and now maybe Falcons will do the same. One falling into his net, it's a Atau. Got the win on the 50, but it's sent away. Follow is denied as well by Ruas. Vatira for the win! We are gonna see Champions Field. Carmi Court versus the Falcons. This is probably game of the day, in my opinion. There's no way it gets closer, no way it gets better. Carmi Court. To this level of pressure, and even he has quite an accomplished resume, and he has answered the test brilliantly for K Corp. And now he will start it off for the blue wall, trying to set up Vatira. And waiting for a mistake that might come out from Team Falcons. Rise, kind of a token challenge. We're off and running here on Champions Field between K Corp and Team Falcons. As the blue wall tries to reverse sweep Mina's crown. They are looking good doing it, too. It has been nothing but a drive of momentum for the last two games for the blue wall. But Falcons still able to hold their own, still taking the shots on target. They haven't been slowed down too bad. It's not going to end here. 
30 seconds or so have gone by where Falcons get to hold on to the pressure. Carmen Corp, though, wanting to stop them in their tracks. Going to be a little bit harder than it has in the past as the infield comes through. Clears takes the shot. TRK up next to the back wall, but Carmen Corp has them red. Well, Jira has been very confident at the back line and uh, again, playing with fire. He hasn't been burned yet, but he's come very close. He'd like to see maybe just a little bit quicker play as he's waiting on the back line and this time stops TRK in his tracks. And now he can take this across the center. Stop initially made by Ruas. Brought all the way over, TRK left it behind. Rise is there to bounce her right into Killers. Here comes Killers. Again, just trying to get past the midfield line. Falcons doing a much more consistent job of breaking out of their half. Which is a good sign of life for them after losing two in the series. Here comes Vatira, slowly starting to wake up as well here in game number five when it matters most. But you're going to get sent back in your own half. TRK looking to follow up this ball. No bump onto a Tau, but it's okay as Kaleers goes to follow through. Three minutes left in regulation on this one. An infield coming in from the corner. Maybe a double off. No connection made on that ball, but Falcons looking a little bit more menacingly as the redirect heads towards net. It gets sent out. Frantic pace back and forth. Opportunities abound on either side. That demolition could open things up. That's how it's still downfield. But now it's all rise, all alone in the back, bringing it across to a towel. Vatira is still ahead. You can see K Corp trying to press the issue just a little bit. Try to force Falcons into a mistake. There's an opportunity that ricochets away, courtesy of TRK. Huge save there. And TRK again also just going to continue the flow over into the KC half. But as quickly as it started, it ends. KC now on the offensive front. He gets sent back into the mid. Here comes Rise off the sidewall. TRK pushing this forward. Can the follow-up come through? The save does, but Killers isn't done. Team Falcons find themselves in a lead at 2-0-2. Been relatively quiet after dropping nine in the first series. That's his third, and it could be the series winner. Will it deny a reverse sweep from Carmine Corp? Oh, an opportunity abound there, and it's just set away. Boy, you don't get many opportunities like that off the kickoff. A waterfall down on the back wall, and just barely swept out. Vatira neutral with TRK. And Falcons repel yet another Carmine Corp attack. Things just feeling not necessarily out of reach for Carmine Corp, but it is getting increasingly difficult as time goes on. Got 90 seconds to answer to this one goal, and we've seen it to where it's taken them much longer to find that answer. As this ball gets sent back into the blue half here. This one off the sidewall. Vatira just wants out of his half. This one towards net. Two touches from Killers off the car of a KC player, but Rye says no. We take it to the sky. We float on out. Just over a minute to go. Falcons remain in the lead. And maybe more. Oh, a towel coming across to make the save. Bati's had a tough time getting boost in this game, especially in the later half. Gonna need some now. Decoy play leaves Rawas in charge. And now brought to the top. A little lockup up on the backboard. I think this might actually favor K Corp, though. And they break it up. Now Vatira in the wing. This will be Rise meeting TRK. A little stutter step, though. Slowed things up. So now K Corp with just over 30 seconds left, trying to keep the reverse sweep alive. Good challenge to get that deep into Falcon territory, but it's all TRK. Gonna try again. Drop off to Vatira. His shot was high. Nobody could have defended it. And the follow from Atel. This is what Carmen Corp is known for the crazy accurate follow ups, the speed with which they come. A tied game at 19 seconds. Carmen Corp are still in the running to go 2 0 in the Swiss. As great as Killers has been, he was helpless after having to avoid Vatira. 10 seconds now. Separate us from another 1-1 overtime. That has been the extent of this reverse sweep effort out of K-Corp. 
TRK just got that ahead of Fatira, and Ruas will give it a look. With no time on the clock, Spike down for overtime. And here you have it, the most intense situation you could have possibly asked for. Overtime, game five, Carmen Court versus Falcons. This one's gonna head back towards the backboard. Towards oh the net, it goes down, the follow-up coming through, and sent off by Carmen Court. Rise finds a way out again. Loose ball in front, TRK can't follow it. Rise will drop it to Vatira, and somehow this overtime continues. Ross denied by a towel again. And now he'll work from the side. Stuffed by TRK, but he ran into Rise and couldn't follow that play cleanly. Boy, Vatira in a lot of trouble defensively here. He'll give way to a towel. Clear downfield, intercepted by Ross. You have to be so intentional and careful with where some of these clears are headed towards. This one into the hands of a towel. He carries this one up in the air. And Vatira trying to help him keep this ball forward towards that Falcons half. But as quickly as it starts, it ends. And the counterattack starts to come through a minute into this overtime. And it's Falcons pushing towards the KC net. This one in mid, a battle for it. A battle for control, even. And Carmen Corp. They just can't seem to continue to hold onto this ball long enough to take a threatening shot. Oh, Vatira, time and space, lay, oh, gave way to rise, indirect center, and Atal just wasn't there, too far back. But K-Corp getting a little comfortable on the orange half of the field. Rise will bring another one across, intercepted by TRK. Big challenge. TRK will get the boost deal out of the corner, but Atau's got control, did get screened off the play. Then Vatira, one-on-one -on -one with Ross, who's got an easy clear. That is a huge clear. This one stops mid. No boost in the tank, though, for Ruas. Most he can do is win a 50, and he does, as this one heads over into the corner. Vatira gets beat on this one. Killers tries to drive this towards the net, but Rise has other plans. The mid boost collected by none other than him, but this one still could remain in favor of the Falcons as this one goes center. Killers trying to slow things down. Can he get over Rise? Not quite, but he can drive forward to open up an opportunity. You fake off the net! 